It's the first official competition of the season. I'm gonna choose six girls to face off against six girls from each team. Christiana has struggled for a long time with the freestyle categories. And the dolls will take not one, but three of its biggest rivals. All of them are gonna come out trying to hit the dance dolls. This dude has been shaving since 1995. In a battle that blows up like never before. Don't tell me to shut the f up. When you go a little too far with the ratchicity, all hell can break loose. Too much. I was thinking about last week. It was, hmm. Yeah. The last time we saw the Divas of Compton, it was a grudge match. We lost our stands. The Divas of Compton. But hey, it is what it is. It's water under the bridge. Now, this is the official competition, literally, first official competition of the season. Now, this week, we're going to the Keep It 100 competition. It's going to be in Lemon, Mississippi. And it's a six man freestyle. For the first time ever, there's going to be a freestyle tournament. We've never done anything like this ever before, but I'm really excited for the challenge. The girls are not really trained to do like I a think freestyle. I think knowing how to do a freestyle is important. It's like a freestyle flow when you go yeah. into a rap battle. You have to be able to off, think, off yeah. the cuff. But I think they feed off of what the other team is doing. Mm -hmm. I don't want them to do that. I want them to focus on themselves. Do what you do best and stick to your strengths. But anyway, we got to get started with practice. All right, you guys. Pay up, pay up, pay up. So this week is the first official competition of the season. I'm excited, so I hope you guys are excited to get down with the nitty gritty, get your feet wet, and kick some ass. Who's excited? I'm excited. <laughs> this week, Diana is using the core girls and not the new girls because it's the first competition of the season, and that means we need the best. Best of the best. Categories that we're gonna be participating in is stand battle and the six-way freestyle showdown. A freestyle showdown is kind of like the call-out round without officially saying, hey, I want you. It's going to be interesting because we have to battle two different teams in the freestyle round. That's a lot of dancing and a lot of stamina. So they have to be ready. I'm going to choose six girls to participate to face off against six girls from each team. I love doing one-on-one -on -one battles because I get to make up my own choreography, and it helps me think fast, and it gets me hyped. Each dancer only has 30 seconds. Once your 30 seconds is up, that's it. Wherever you are, you have to completely stop. They don't know who they're battling. You don't know who you're going to battle. And we're starting to see a lot of freestyles pop up at the competitions all of a sudden. A lot of the dance dolls have never been trained to just freestyle, so we got our work cut out for us. I think it's going to keep it very interesting and entertaining. Plus, it's going to keep y'all on y'all's toes, too. Six way showdown. Come on, y'all. This six round freestyle, we ain't been doing too good on the one on one solo. We did the Divas of Compton last week, and last week was pure D hell. Mm -mm. And now, we don't know who to put out there. When it comes to freestyle, sometimes they might be on their A game, and then the next second or two is kind of like, what happened? I'm like, what? Hey, honey, trying to see what's hey. going on. I bought y'all some new company. Hi, I'm Shamika. I'm Daisha's mom. Um, yeah. She's one of the. Asia is one of the newest members of the Dancing Dolls. She has probably been on the team about, say, eight or nine months. She has a lot of talents that everybody doesn't know about. What you mean, brought us new company? Just a fresh face to put some smiles on our faces. I decided to bring Shamika in the viewing room today. I'm sure the other moms might not be too happy, but I am. You needed some company. <laughs> yeah, I brought, I brought me some company. I know who Shamika is, but I'm just trying to figure out why Dana is bringing in extra people into the room. It's not that much space in here as it is. What have we missed? We have a six-way showdown, of course, stand battle. I feel like Deja's very prepared for it, but who knows when it comes to Coach D. So here's Shamika coming in, just thinking her daughter should get one of these solo spots. It's a little arrogant, but hey, I kind of like it. It's probably gonna be all the captains. Cameron. Christiana. I don't want to be involved. Where are you? Yeah. Everybody yeah. 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 You are. Solo has been crazy for us. Christiana has yet to win, and I know it's driving her crazy. I never thought I would say these words, but this freestyle has been so crazy for us. Hell, we can sit this one off. Let Deja go. We're going to cheer Deja on. We're going to be Team Deja this week, because we need to get our thoughts together. 
I ain't never seen her fold. Like, yeah. for her to fold. Yeah. All we need to do is just make sure whoever out there is 100% ready. Mm -hmm. yeah. You guys, his rivals for the week are the Southern Royalists. Then you have the Divas of Dance. Divas of Dance are the only team to have beaten you guys in stand battle last season. The late <laughs> Then there's Dazzling Divas of Macon. All three of these teams are tough. They're just tough in different ways. The Southern Roulettes have more of a performing arts background. The Divas of Dance have more of just majorette and really, really clean and crazy tricks. And then you have the Dazzling Divas who have more of a hip hop aggressive background. We went up against the Dazzling Divas of Macon and beat them in stands, but they ended up beating Cameron and Faith in the duet. With this being said, it's kind of an opportunity for a little bit of payback. Five, five, six, eight, one, and two, and boom, boom, boom. The Dazzling Divas are making our threat to the dancing dolls. The dolls do a lot of repetitive things, and I feel like we're bringing a lot of new flavor to the floor. I can assure you we will walk away with that win. Yeah. Watch out for the divas, because we're going to be ready. L-A-D-D! This week, I feel like we're going to have to raise our standards. We got the Definitely. divas of making. Uh, you know what? And y'all already know. The shenanigans. Right. The shenanigans, the, craziness, the drama, the, the craziness. Sometimes dancing doll parents can be high maintenance, and making can be high maintenance. And the two together are like oil and water. People <laughs> say what they want about us, but they real ignorant. They bring so much drama. We all have a little ratchet in us, and they can be a little ratchet. I am too, so it's fine with me. It's OK. But when you go a little too far with the ratchicity, all hell can break loose. Who you think is the heaviest of this week on the list? Divas of Macon, they gonna have the that energy. energy. Mm -hmm. yeah. And Divas of Dan, they beat us last season. I mean, everybody got to be prepared. The rivals, they're coming for us. I just hope we will be prepared on every angle mm -hmm. this yeah. week. One, hey, hey, three, four, five, six, seven. OK, stop. Start working on stand battle. OK, well, come on, we need to start talking about this. One, two. While Cameron is running practice, Kayla and I are going to sit and have a conversation about which six girls we feel like we can put into this freestyle round thinking about girls who who have like that wild factor to them that can come up with choreography off the top of their head, they can freestyle, it has to be like <gasps> right. Whoever our top six people is gonna be, they're gonna have to have enough energy and sass. And on top of that, they also gotta be able to do that and then turn right back around chain clothes and do a real stand battle. Who who do you trust? I trust Cameron. That's a decent Yeah. But we need to make sure, like, everybody that we pick is somebody that we know we can trust. You have to make sure that the person that you choose is a great performer. If you make a mistake, you have to be able to pick up and be able to freestyle and finish it without looking like you're lost or scared. The girls are going to have to focus, because if they don't, this could go really, really right or really, really, really wrong. Even Christiana sometimes scared me as far as... I feel like with Christiana, she's been given so many chances, and I really feel like he's taking shots at her confidence. Christiana has struggled for a long time with the freestyle categories. Even though she's one of the most talented girls on the team, in the past with these categories, she kind of just frees up or don't pull through all the way. But Christiana, she can tumble, she has a lot of energy, she's real strong. I feel like I would pick Christiana, but I'm really not sure. All right, you guys, for the six-man tournament style competition, Kayla and I are having a discussion about which girls we think would be best. You know what I would love to see? To shut her mouth. Yep. They're expecting her to fail, but that's OK. I can't wait for Diana to choose her so I can actually shut their mouths. I want to put Faith in oh, that ground. See, she had it. Here we go. When I call your name, stand up, you automatically have a spot into the six-man round. Makaya. <laughs> Kenjane. Cameron. Deja. Deja is ready, because I've been drilling her ass since that day. Oh, no, you talking <laughs> about you. <laughs> I'm like, you ladies don't know what you have in store for you, baby, because Deja is an all-around dancer. Lyrica, hip-hop, major it, she's going to get it off top. Whatever it is, you can do it all. So yes, I have a lot of faith in my baby. Faith has never been in a freestyle before. This is her opportunity to show what she is made of. And the last people. 
coming up. Uh -uh, uh -uh. I'm just hoping that none of the girls get hurt before a very big competition. The last person. Damn, man. No. <laughs> And the last people in the six-man round. Uh, this week, we're participating in a freestyle tournament and stand. Now, we've never done a freestyle tournament before. So the six girls that I choose, they are very, very, very important. They either make or break us. Christiana. Even though Christiana is struggling, at the end of the day, Christiana is definitely one of our strongest contenders. Christiana knows that her back is against the wall, and I'm really hoping that this would help boost her confidence if she was to win her round. The last person is Bay. This is the first time Coach D has ever chosen me for a call-out or a freestyle round. And I'm going to show everybody I can book just as well as I can be a ballerina. We feel like you'll be the best representative for the call-out round. Cameron and Kenjanae are excellent for freestyle. They got it. But Faith, Deja, Christiana, and Micaiah is four people you got to really worry about. And y'all need to be prepared. OK. <laughs> Faith, Faith has never had a freestyle opportunity before, ever. But if Diana gives her a chance right now, she's going to make her proud. Christiana. Oh, man. Oh, oh, God, I didn't want to be in it. When Diana said Christiana is in the top six, I'm like, OK. Maybe she saw something that I didn't see last week, even though Christiana didn't win. So I'm excited for that, but I'm nervous at the same time. I'm trying to battle for real this week. <laughs> OK, the girls that's in freestyle, come up here. The other girl, everybody else move back. I'm going to take a few minutes to work with the girls on their freestyle showdown. Even though it is definitely a freestyle, I want to make sure they understand how to actually put together choreography so that it makes sense and it flows. The whole purpose of this is to prepare you. Y'all have to learn how to think on your feet. You may only get one chance. Let's go. The girls have 30 seconds to showcase their moves, and that's it. Time. <laughs> if you don't want to get caught in an awkward position, get up. The girls have got to go out there and do what I'm asking them to do, because I'm definitely not going to have them lose to a team, especially not the dazzling divas and making in a category that I know the girls can excel in. All right, that was exactly 30 seconds. You're very good. Next. Make sure you control your elbow cartwheels. You had a lot of tricks in your pocket. You need to use them. Christiana. I think Christiana kind of hit a little bit of a rough patch. I mean, it's not like Christiana's not a great dancer or a great person or a great individual and she can't bounce back. This is where your drive and motivation kicks in. When you're facing adversity, what do you do? Do you fold? Or do you step up to the plate and you keep trying? Still got to have some attitude at the end of it, OK? Faith is last. Come on. I'm about to show Coach D what I can do. And I hope it is good enough, because I do not want her to pull me out. Time. Whatever that was you did at the beginning, I didn't like it. Car wheels are not tricks. You did too much walking. You waste time. The girls only have 30 seconds. That's it. So those 30 seconds have to be good from start to finish. I know that Faith is trying, but I still, I still just don't see it. It makes me feel like I made the wrong decision. You need to come out with some fire. You understand? Use your strengths, Faith. Use your head. Just because you made cuts now don't mean you can't be cut tomorrow. Don't make me regret picking you. Ooh, Faith is not impressing Coach D right now. We probably need to get a little extra help this week because she needs to prove herself as the go-to person in the freestyle round. Okay, everybody come up. It's definitely time to get back to battle squad practice. We have a lot of new choreography, and I need to make sure the girls can get through all of these challenging new dances. Build the original staircase over here. One, get two, back still. three. She gonna fall! You cannot move. So because we're battling the Southern Royalette and they're very acrobatic, Ms. Dad is trying to put together this stunt that's very technical, acrobatic, and just risky. 
You get one chance to get this right. The girls are kind of sweating from practicing earlier, so you can't really get your grip on their backs because they have back sweat all over the place. Four, five, six, seven, eight, one. That was bad. I know that a lot of these teams are going to be gunning for us, so I have to make sure that everything that we do is 100 more times difficult. And I was thinking about building a pyramid. This person is in the middle. They're standing on, that person. on this person. You know what I'm saying? OK, y'all, let's try something. Dominate, annihilate, kill, kill, kill. You put your knees on these two. This pyramid stunt is very difficult. Y'all come up over and bend. It is very hard to try to look good and keep your balance at the same time. Go down slow. Faith, you got to reach out, you got to let go. Reach out. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Oh, don't do that. Get that. Up your no. Keep in mind, they're going to be sweaty. Lord, and they're going to be think. tired. What I'm seeing right now, it is going to be so difficult. I'm just hoping that none of the girls get hurt before a very big competition like this. They backs ain't going to be no good. <laughs> they going to be damaged. I'm just not up for this week. Everything got to dip down. You should get like this. The girls aren't getting these things. This not moving. Bend this down. Tomorrow, I'm going to have the girls go through cuts. I want to make sure that everyone that's on the floor has the choreography. And y'all sit up like you got a strong back. Stop looking like you weak. Sit up. Coming up. Oh, you got to know all this shit. Miss Diana's kind of feeling the heat because it's our first official competition. Later. I don't know what's going on, but I hear a making yelling, a DDP yelling, and everybody's going nuts. Don't tell me to shut the up. I'm trying to. Some cute boys in here. Girl. <laughs> Girl, you can join us. Dana and Shamika asked me to help Faith and Deja freestyle. We really need your expertise this week. This is Faith's first time in Colorado, and she needs some help. Put some of that inner Kayla beast in her. If Faith and Deja want some help, they're gonna have to come with me and do what I do. Everybody, this is Deja, hey. and the one with the glasses is Faith. Freestyling is usually about making no choreography right there on the spot. But it's also fun because you get to watch everybody have fun and just dance. This is Alfredo. Oh, yeah. That's Slim, Charlie. So I'm bringing Deja and Faith with my friends so they can see some stuff that Ms. Now usually doesn't show them. Can you just show me something like a really strong beginning? Toastman. Oh, yeah. Oh, snap. Yeah, damn, yeah! Oh, yeah. that's what? Here. Sweet. And see. There you go. Now that Faith and Deja have worked on a few things, let's see what they got. Come on, Faith. I like what I'm seeing here. The girls are letting go. They're having fun. They're actually getting into the groove of it. And that's all their freestyle is. <laughs> Strong. This competition is really unique because it is the very first competition of the official summer dance slam season. Six girls are going to be competing in the freestyle competition, and we have some exciting but very difficult new stands that we're going to be bringing to the floor. Everyone better be practicing their freestyle at home. Don't stop once you leave here tonight. Let's have cuts, ladies. I've been spending a lot of time on the freestyle, but it's time for us to focus and get ready for stands. Anaya, you and Faith, let's see if you'll make cuts. Definitely have my eyeballs on Faith and Anaya. If they were to make stand battle cuts this time go around, this will be the first time that these two are a part of the full stand battle squad. And to me, I guess they would actually be official. Jump into it. I'm watching Faith, and to be honest, I'm not sure. And sometimes she can overdo it because she's trying to impress me, and I just want her to be herself. Queen Faith! Do she make it a lot? My nerves bad. Mm. Anaya, you and Faith make cuts this time, but as of tomorrow, if it don't look better tomorrow, you're gonna be cut again. Yes, yes, yes. I promise, Coach D, I will not let you down. Don't make me kill y'all, because I'll choke the out of both of you. Y'all understand? Yes! What you guessing for? Y'all already know what the business is. <laughs> Already know. Lord, have mercy, Jesus. 
I gotta raise both of my hands. I'm happy for Faith, don't get me wrong, but that cracker doo 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 mama, Dana, ain't gonna let me hear the end of it. In Faith, her ass better be on fire. All eyes gonna be on Faith. The six way showdown sometimes be like intense. That's true. Well, my nerves, of course, high, because this is Faith's first time, but they've calmed down a little bit after Kayla worked with Faith and Deja. Excuse me, what? Did I just hear that right? Faith had some private classes with Kayla. Oh, nobody told me we had special practice, Tina. But it's cool, you know. Mm. Oh, Lord, I am not getting involved in this. Kayla stepped up as the assistant coach to help Faith and Deja, and now Ritney is pissed. I plead the fifth. Somebody on the hotline bling could have said we haven't practiced this today. I really don't know your phone number to call you, so, but if I did, I definitely would have called you. You don't have my number, and you would have most definitely called me. Girl, bye. Girl, we follow bye. each other on every social media. It was not hard to get into. I told you it was Why a Why would we tell you? Christiana is a veteran at this. But you know Christiana has been the one that's been struggling this season. But we ain't gonna go down without a fight, I can bet you this. I'm never one of the parents that look for extra help, but it's on and popping now. Kayla, it's time for you to strap back up, baby, because Ritney is about to call you. Well, Just I wouldn't have thought to call moment. you at all, because no. when I think of Christiana, I think about she calling really don't you. Need it. Yeah, we need practice. Ritney is so defensive. I mean, it was an innocent mistake. Five, six, seven. Hey, this is the last day of practice. We should be perfecting these stands. Lean, two, three, four. Knowing that a lot of these teams do a lot of acrobatic stunts, I have to make sure that this one is on point. Don't mess it up, I'll make you do it again. And some of the girls, they still look very shaky. But we just are running out of time, and I'm ready to move on. Go back to the two lines for fight night. Roll out. One, two, three, four. Y'all stand or y'all lying like it's supposed to be? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Don't do that part. I see the girls still slipping and they're forgetting the choreography, and I don't understand how they're forgetting the choreography when we've been practicing this all week. One, two, stop. Shane drop her head on one. Who? Faith. Head, head. Don't do it. It's this and this. This is the reason why we have cuts on this stuff. Y'all supposed to know how this I feel like. Miss Diana's kind of feeling the heat because it's our first official competition. One, two, three, four. So she doesn't want her team to lose, so they better get in line or beware. Seven, A, one, stop. Seven, A, one. Seven, A, one. And you still behind, Faith. Come on in there arguing with them about you being a main person on the battle squad. You got to know all this I'm really pissed about how the girls are practicing. Their focus is not there. I don't know what it is, but if they don't focus, they're literally going to lose this week's competition. She throws it first! She throws it first! Start over! Three, Coming four, up. Five, Come six. on, Christian. I know you can do better than that. They buck, they flip, they fly. That's some stiff and tough competition. Darius, they get to just come to the studio, have at it by themselves. We don't get a chance to do that. So I brought you here so we can do that. We can have a freestyle and just have at it. So after Ritney found out that I work with Faith and Deja, she decided to just, you know, throw Christiana on in there too. Seems like Kayla's private school of dance have heavy enrollment this week. Make sure whatever you do is an attention grab. Two, three, four, six, <laughs> seven, eight. When I did see your face, you like this. I'm Make sure you have faces too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, six, yeah, seven, eight. Okay, now that's what I'm talking about. So let's say you battle with me, and I'm gonna see if it's worthy enough for me to be like, mm, I'm gonna sit down somewhere. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, work the floor. Five, six, seven, eight. This is the Christiana. I know. It kind of takes her a while to get out of her shell. We need to make this Christiana come out when that 30-second clocks begin. I feel like you got a lot of juices flowing. You got some new ideas. You learn some new stuff, so we can get ready to go. Now, how y'all feel? 
feel? Good. How did y'all feel? Since Diana always want to play so tough, we going to show her what tough is. Y'all sleepy? Yeah. Y'all better wake up. The Southern Roulettes are a strong team. The Divas of Dance are the only teams that have beaten the Dancing Dolls last season in stand battle. And then there's FADD, who won against the Dancing Dolls in the duet with the person on their team that was in college. Dance like it's your last. You only gonna get that one chance. The Southern Roulettes, I hit a crush, right? Yeah! We know you think you are the best. Week. Our rivals, of course, Divas of Macon. We're gonna go ahead and serve them up. The only problem I'm gonna have is that they got their grown ass man out there. And that is not fair to our girls. With the dads and Divas of Macon being in the house, I feel like it's gonna be some very intense drama going on. Last dance season, we saw them and they had a male dancer that's clearly not in high school, but they wanted to do it. Every time we face the Dads and Divas of Macon, it's always some ratchicity going on. We need to get this thing started, because I'm Me ready too. to go. Head down, eyes closed. Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you for the opportunity to be here. We do know that life is uncertain, but I thank you, God, for continuing to watch over them. And in your son Jesus' name, we pray, amen. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you to the Keep It 100 competition. Make some noise! Dancers will compete in freestyle and stand battle categories. The Divas of Macon crowd right now, they're so rowdy. It is like crazy in here right now. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time to begin our freestyle round. Six dancers will have 30 seconds each to battle against their rival. Calling to the floor, the dancing doll. The girls are going to be performing in a six-man freestyle. If we be the Southern Roulette, we have one last round, and we don't know which team we're going to get, not to mention we still have stand battle that we have to do. That's a lot of dancing. You can't get tired. And the Southern Royalists. Oh, boy. We're going up against the Southern Royalists in the first round. They don't just buck. They flip. They fly. That's some stiff and tough competition. All your words take a name of me. You watch your most thing and I can be. Cameron going up against this kid, guys are naturally stronger than girls. Guys have an edge as far as stamina and a lot of endurance. Woo, we about to set the flow on fire. came to win today. Baby, come on strong. Cause you ain't got nothing to lose. Nah, 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 nah. Of course I'm going to be nervous. Only thing I can say, I hope Christiana can handle the pressure better than her auntie. Gonna turn the bass up loud. Ain't nobody even gonna be able to hear sound. She's a little nervous, but she's strong and she's steady. Three, two, <laughs> Judges, show us your decision. Dolls. 
Dogs. Dogs. We won round one because our first four girls won, making it four to zero. It's done. But the girls are going to have to bring it harder to make sure that they win against the Divas of Dance in round two. Coming up. This dude has been shaving since 1995. What the hell is he doing out there? Number five, we're at the Keep It 100 competition in Goodman, Mississippi, and the Dancing Dolls made a clean sweep through round one of the six-man call-out round. But the girls are going to have to bring it harder to make sure they win round two. And I hope that the girls have the energy to pull it off. It is now time for the championship round. <laughs> Only four of the Divas of Dance girls have moved on to the second round. So I chose Cameron. Christiana, Makaya, and Faith to face off against them. This is it. Let's get it. Let's go. This is going to be a tough round. The Divas of Dance have a great reputation. So right now, it's do or die. You're the, you're the, you're the the gambling type, I bet my BMW and my new butt that Cameron is gonna win this round. Looking wild horse. Christiana knows she has something to prove, and today she came for it. Dancing dogs. That's what I'm talking about, Christiana. You go, girl. Christiana wins her round again. Now she's jumping over the hump. She's riding over the hump. She's soaring over the hump like a phoenix rising from the ashes. Demons of dance will lead this round. Christiana winning her round puts us at two to one. So this means if Faith does not get up here and kill this, there's a chance that we may have to go to a tiebreaker. Slay! Won't you tell them what we do, girl? Yeah, get it, girl! You know we slay, girl. Impressing you? Mm, don't be surprised. That's what I do. I slay. And I mean that boo from the curls in my hand to the tips of my face. Takes off like a raging bull. She's got those horns going, and I'm like, ole, ole. That's right, baby, Laura, that's right. Throughout the week, Faith was struggling a little bit, but right now, she is killing it. Kayla, thank you. Whatever you put in that potion, she is exploding right now on the floor. Three, two, two. Whoa. I feel like Faith should win, but with these judges, you just never know what they're gonna do. Dancing Dolls. Hey! Congratulations, Dancing Dolls, on your win and finally restoring my faith in you in these call-out rounds. It's now time for our stand battle. I know we're all gunning for the divas of making, but I don't want to put the cart before the horse. Because for that battle to go down, we have to beat the Southern Roulettes, and Macon has to beat the divas of dance. So we better beat the Southern Royalettes. The Southern Royalettes have a lot of crazy acrobatic moves. They are real threat.
Southern Rolettes, they're not backing down. They're doing their tricks, they're doing their stunts. They're giving us a run for our money. Southern Rolettes, they got those wow factors. They got me a little worried. Coach D trained the girls that the pyramid stand would be saved for the championship round. But since we got Southern Rolettes in the lower division, I don't know if Cameron gonna throw it now or wait. Back in my mind, I'm thinking, should I bring out the Risky Pyramid? We could lose it right here. It's a huge gamble. Nah, we're saving it. I'm gonna need it for the championship round. I just hope we get there. Moving on to the finals. Ladies and gentlemen, that team is. Coming up. I don't even shut the up. Yes, you do. Game on. Not in front of these kids, man. It is total chaos. Girl, what you go do? Moving on to the finals. From Jackson, Mississippi, the Dancing Dolls. This, this is what I've been waiting for. Dancing Dolls versus Dazzling Divas. Game on. It's time to settle a score, baby. If I wasn't excited by seeing nobody else today, making you was on my make-a-wish list. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get it. Let's go. I'm tired of seeing the dancing dolls do the same stuff. I don't see how the judges aren't tired of the dancing dolls doing the same stuff. I mean, how many death drops you want to see? How many rollovers you want to see? Like, Zayana, you want to fuss about everything. You need to fuss about the moves and get some more. Yeah. This got me feeling right. Let me show you how it goes on this side. I'm in your hood. Let's go. I am so proud of Faith right now. I'm looking at the divas of making. Their lines are clean. They're not making any mistakes. Damn, we better be careful. Turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it. Turn up, turn it, turn it. We in the right spot. Let's get it on. Oh my God! The divas of making. Throw the girl on the floor. It looks like a doll. Yeah, let's do something else. Let's do something else, please. I've seen that so many times. I'm tired of seeing it. That's old, old news. through my chest and all I'm thinking is don't fall, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Thank God. Then he's like, oh, okay, something new. Team throws their next stand, and what do you know? Here comes that older guy that's on their team. This dude has been shaving since 1995. What the hell is he doing out there? Ours, I think, was way more effective than what they did. Doesn't matter, though. Always on these chicks. The 
judges were deliberating? I started noticing there was some trouble when I hear parents going back and forth all of a sudden in the stands. And I'm like, the hell is going on? I don't know what's going on, but I hear a making yelling, a DDP yelling, and then all of a sudden, everybody's going nuts. It's crazy in here. OK, so what's the problem? What's the problem? Everywhere they go, that's what they do. She came no, over here. Like, she no. needs to stay calm. They need to stay calm. No. She need to be quiet here. Get her. Get her. Let's see her No, Diana needs to check the up. Girl, what you gonna do? Oh, oh my God. I don't even shut the nothing. Nothing. I don't even shut the up. Rick from FADD tells me I need to shut the F up. Don't tell me to shut the up. I'm trying to figure out what the is going on. The DDPs, we ride or die. So if something happens, we have each other back, no matter what. That's just the way it is. Now, damn it, look. Not in front of these kids, man. Everywhere they go, they fight. Ladies and gentlemen, please return to your seats. We have security, and the situation will be secure. Due to a series of unfortunate events, I'm going to leave the last words to Ms. Christie. Good evening. On behalf of all the judges, we have made it a collective decision that there will be no trophy awarded for the final battle round. Let me speak. No trophy will be awarded, but not because you don't deserve it, but because your parents represent you. And they have to learn that after tonight, no more. No more. Amen. The judges have decided not to award a trophy in stand battle because of the commotion going on with the parents. You know, this is not a good start to the season. Let's get it. Let's go. I just feel so bad. These girls been working so hard preparing this week. I don't know what happened, but it affected us very heavily, and we did all this work for nothing. Y'all did good today. You shouldn't feel slighted in any way. You shouldn't feel upset. I'm proud of y'all. I'm sure the Dancing Dolls will see the Dazzling Divas at Making again, but hopefully the fight can stay on the dance floor.